Hello everybody, Jackson here with the Wealth Squad. Today we'll be talking about the current state of the crypto market. As you can see, we're not doing much. Uh, Bitcoin is only up around 20%, uh, even if that, from the very low um, recently. As you can see, you know we're checking out the one year, and we're still down a large percent, right? We're down 50% or so from just the year, and that's not even, you know, taking into account the 60. Nine thousand dollar price at one time uh, as the 52 week high. So Bitcoin still hurting, of course. Uh, we can check out Ethereum. Ethereum's doing better. You can see it's already doubled from the low, uh, but it's still down a massive amount um, from the highs. You know, highs are around five thousand dollars. Right now, it's at sixteen hundred, hovering near seventeen hundred. Uh, so you're looking at at least a sixty seventy percent decline. And this is basically what it's like all over the market. Of course, you should probably know that. It's been like this for a while. But what I will say is it's times like these when crypto's quiet, when crypto's not moving very much, when you want to accumulate. Because as you can see uh, in this chart, Bitcoin basically already found a bottom. Uh, I think this is what that would be considered. And of course, it is up. Uh, relatively quite a bit from the bottom but it's still down a massive amount and that leaves upside for you uh, you can buy around the 20 range right we're hovering near 23,000 for one Bitcoin and just see where that takes you if it goes up nice you're making money if you go down goes down you can average in right you can average in dollar cost average make your cost basis cheaper while still gathering more Bitcoin uh, but I do, I will say it is critical when the crypto market is slow, when crypto market is quiet, in which you want to start buying. Because you have to think, uh, we'll go through some history here. After 2017, 2018, 2019, crypto was quiet, right? As you can see, uh, December of 2018, it was near $4,000. And it was like that for a long time. You can see November until March, where it was just... Three thousand, four thousand dollars, not making any noise. Of course, we're coming off a large uh, decline, but you still have to think of the percentage down from the highs, right? Uh, we can see the highs were around seventy thousand. Now we're at twenty-two, twenty-three. Over here, the highs were around twenty thousand, and it went down to four thousand. Um, so it's we're not down as much as you know back then. But I think that's just because more people know of crypto than in 2017 and 2018. Um, I think that's the case for most of these coins is now the market is bigger. So whatever you may think of crypto, now is the time to average in, if any time. If you're bullish on crypto in the future uh, and you can see Bitcoin at, let's say, 100,000, then no time is like the present to start averaging in. That is my opinion, and I think many people can attest to that. Now, sure, you are up a considerable amount since June. Let me X out of this. Uh, as you can see, in June, the low for Ethereum, for example, $800, $880 for one. Right now, it's $1,680. So it's up essentially 100%. You're up 100% in two months, uh, not even two months. So the bounce is here. The bounce has happened. And what I like to call is like the dead cat bounce, even though it doesn't make much sense in this scenario. That's a great way to see it is you can see, let's say, a, let's say a stock, for example, like PayPal, you know, came off from $300 and it hit, let's say 70 or 60. I'm not looking at PayPal right now. I'm just thinking, um, you know, making a, an example, hit 70 or 60 and then it hit a hundred, right? That measly percentage, 70 to hundred looks small but it's a near 50 percent increase in just a little bit because it's coming off a 300 dollars high it doesn't look like much but it's 50 percent and this doesn't look like much you know you're you see 800 dollar increase here but it's a hundred percent in this case and this is happening all across the crypto world you can see avalanche barely any movement from the charts but it's still up from 16 to 24 that's 50 percent and that's down from 150 dollars uh, we could look at Matic. Matic is a great example. Uh, down from $3, hit $0.30, cents, 
now at 90 cents, up three times. You're looking at a 200% increase in two months. So crypto bounce is here. Now you're, the question is, is it worth investing in still? And that's what I think we found out today is yes, of course, the crypto market is still worth investing in dollar cost averaging at these prices. Not a bad idea. Uh, but I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Uh, please give me some insight into what you are thinking about this current market. But I, in my opinion, when the crypto market is quiet, when the crypto market is slow, it's the best time to get in. What do you think? Thank you for watching and I'll see you Monday.